these cells have the potential to cure diseases and conditions ranging from Parkinson's and MS to diabetes, heart disease, to Alzheimer's, Lou Gehrig's, even uh, spinal cord injuries, like my own. Christopher Reeve wouldn't live to see stem cells possibly help with his own paralysis, but nearly 30 years after his accident, spinal cord injury patients like Jake Javier are now reaping the benefits. So it was actually my last day of high school and was over at a friend's house and we were swimming. I just jumped out a little too far and ended up hitting my head where it started to get a bit shallow and hit my head on the bottom and broke my neck. Like Reeve, Jake was also left paralyzed. Instead of walking with San Ramon Valley High School's graduating class of 2016, Jake was weighing whether or not to try an experimental treatment based on stem cells. I didn't know a whole lot about it, but I knew that it could potentially help me or you know, potentially help others, and I didn't see a lot of risk in it, so I decided to do it. Stem cells can become, by definition, any of the cells of the human body. They just need the instructions and the information. Brian Cully is the CEO of Lineage Cell Therapeutics. We convert those stem cells into the actual cells that comprise and make up the spinal cord. When you've actually injected these cells into the spinal cord in someone like Jake, what sort of results have you been seeing? To date, 30 individuals have received these cells. The initial objective was to demonstrate the safety, but the data which we collected and the conversations that we had with the surgeons really encouraged us that there was some improvement that was somewhat unexpected. Improvements for patients like Jake that now allow him to live his life, drive, and work. I ended up getting some return here in my right hand. Um, so I'm able to wiggle this index finger just a little bit, which doesn't look like much, and there's not a lot of strength behind it, but um, it actually proves to be very functional for me because it kind of gives me a little bit more dexterity and the ability to kind of open my hand here and, and grab even small objects like this. How big a deal was the advocacy of Christopher Reeve and all this? And Christopher Reeve is, is synonymous with this condition, and that's really important. Having someone who is connected as an individual to a condition can really help attract attention and interest in the space. 